Hi kindergartners! I just wanted to say that I miss you so much and that I wanted to share this book with you. Preston brought it for his Star of the Week and it's one of my favorites. It's called Can I Be Your Dog? So let's go ahead and find out what this book is all about. Dear people at Yellow House, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every other house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Let's see. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Signed, Arfie. I hope she says yes. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Signed, Veronica Stark, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, nom, nom. Too bad. Dear Fire Station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, Let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest. Signed, Arfie. I think the fire department would be the perfect place for a dog like Arfie. Let's see if they say yes. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of Fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your shirt in your search. Station number five. Oh no. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So, please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Sounds like he's getting sadder and sadder. Dear Mutt, get lost. That's not very kind. Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken. And there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky. Just lonely. Find Arfie. If you've ever felt lonely, kindergartners, it makes your tummy really sad. And sometimes you're not feeling very happy. Let's see, hopefully this house takes him in. Uh -oh. Looks like his letter got mailed back. It says, return to sender. Nobody at this address. That means nobody lives there anymore. Oh, look at how sad Arfie is. Oh. Uh oh, he's in the rain. He's sleeping in his box. He doesn't look very happy at all. <gasps> oh, what's this? Looks like somebody 
put a love note on his box. <gasps> Starting to look a little happier. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, the letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. <gasps> what do you think? Is he going to meet Mitzi? Or do you think he's not going to meet Mitzi? We'll have to find out. <gasps> there she is. And there's the big blue mailbox. If you look down the street, do you see Arfie anywhere? Not yet. Oh, there he is. And then he meets her with a big, huge puppy kiss. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof! Scratch, scratch. Look at how happy he is now. Yay! This was such a good book, Preston. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Boys and girls, we miss you so much, but we hope we're ha you're having fun at home. Keep reading!